Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Jeremy Lutz coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. And what we're looking at today is a market that's a little unchanged as everybody's waiting on the Federal Reserve to release its minutes from its meeting earlier this month. And Wall Street is expected to parse through them in search of clues about when and how many times the Fed will raise interest rates this year. With that, we'll take a look at, quick look at the markets. Uh, S&P 500 is currently charting out the score plus 100 green trade triangles across the board. Currently trading at 2,362.14. Key level to watch for the S&P 500 this week, beginning of next week, will be 2,285.38. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position. Move along to gold, it's kind of some choppy action here as we've gotten up against the 1240 barrier. Uh, currently trading at uh, 1,233.34. Issued a green daily trade triangle today at 1238.71, indicating a move to a long position based on the short time frame with a trade triangle of green on a daily and green on a weekly. Chart analysis score plus 60. Key level to watch for gold will be 1,227.49. Move below that level would issue a red daily trade trial indicating a move back to a sidelines position for gold. Dow Jones currently trading at 20,760.42 near an all-time high. Chart now score plus 100. Green trade triangles across the board. Uh, key level to watch this week for the Dow will be 20,000. $2.81. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position. NASDAQ currently trading at 5,858.70 with a chart analysis score of plus 100. Green trade triangles across the board. A little unchanged today. Key level to watch for the NASDAQ will be 5,649.39. Move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to the sidelines position. Dollar index is actually currently up, trading at 101.30, uh, up just a like three tenths of a percent today. Chart analysis score plus 90. We got last week when I was out sick, we got their, our entry back into a long position now based on a weekly trade triangle of $100.92, pushing that chart analysis score to plus 90. Key level to watch for the dollar index next week and the rest of this week will be 99.55, level below, below that. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade trial indicating a move back to the sidelines position for the U.S. dollar. Crude oil has actually been bouncing along. As you can see, we'll kind of draw it in here. Just bouncing along this 55 range between 55, 53, 52 dollars. Currently trading at 53.52. Chart analysis score plus 55 with a green weekly trade triangle and a red daily trade triangle. Of course, that red daily trade triangle came in today at 53.72, indicating a move to a sidelines position. Key level to watch for oil today and first part of tomorrow would be 55.03. A move back above that level would issue a green daily trade triangle, indicating a move to a long position based on our short-term time frame. However, I would say based that it's still stuck in this tight window range, you want to see it move above this 56 level. That would really be key. We'll actually open up the chart here a little bit farther. And as you can see, it's right above the tops here. Um, a breakout above 56 would, would probably be a good indication to get long crude oil. Until then, I think it's just going to continue to grind in a sideways fashion in what I call blender trading, where it's just going to chop you up. We'll clear this off here. We'll move along to what I stock I saw today. Uh, when I was kind of tr going through the trade triangles list, was looking for something, and that popped out to me, and that was Alibaba. We'll take a go ahead and turn off the daily trade triangle list here. Alibaba issued a new monthly trade triangle today, right here at 104.57. Uh, chart analysis score is currently plus 100 with green trade triangles across the board. Um, over the weekend, Alibaba announced it formed a strategic partnership with the Shanghai Ballion Group, one of the Chinese largest supermarket and department store chains, and in order to deepen its so-called new retail strategy, where they're trying to turn more into a brick and mortar uh, business, much like Amazon's doing uh, here in the U.S. And they also, the Alibaba's finance arm, Ant Financial, also announced a $200 million investment in South Korea's dominant messaging app, 
Keiko talk, uh, similar to WhatsApp, uh, like Facebook. Um, I'm definitely looking at buying Alibaba today. Uh, currently trading at 104.90, pretty close to our entry signal. Uh, nice area to set your stop would be at the you know right around this break of the 100. So we're actually looking at our key level for Alibaba this week and next week would be 100.02. Break below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle. Uh, indicating move back to the sidelines position. Um, but I believe that Alibaba is going to head higher from here. Key level to watch really, and we'll back this chart out here, will be these all-time highs right here. Kind of draw them in. Uh, right above that 109 level. Break above that 109 level would definitely push Alibaba higher. So I would set your initial stop at that 102 level. As it climbs higher, if we get above that 109 level, I would book your profits at 109 and continue to hold Alibaba from there. Every success. Have a great day, and I will be back on Friday to give you some numbers to look at next week in the market.